Second floor brigade, breakfast is almost ready. Okay, Mom, don't scramble the eggs without me.
dramatization. Okay, people, here's your new home for the next five weeks. The goddamn farm! Hey, no one's lived here for ten years? Relax! Would I pick a loser? Now, we have all the comforts of home here and none of the hassles. Gas electricity's been turned on for us, but there's no telephone and no TV. Oh, no. Besides, you guys never let me get to the butt. But, in yon barn-like structure, we have constructed a 24-track Recording studio. Let me guess, to record roosters in the morning? Nothing to break our concentration and plenty of rooms so everyone can get a little privacy. Hey, really, mate? What are we supposed to do here? Rehearse, lame brain. City soften your ears and your arms. In our last gig, he didn't even play the same song we were playing. <laughs> So now that we're here to rehearse our new album. Oh, or lose our advance. Or lose our advance. We've got a month to come up with 10 minutes of new good material. And we're not going anywhere until we do. Friggin' great. But why Canada? Because Toronto's where it's happening, man. The music, the film industry, the arts. The only way to get you guys to rehearse is to lock you in a place where you have no distractions, nothing to do but play. Back to nature, huh? No hot tubs? A dynasty. It's kind of like a vacation. I like it. You would. Come on, you two. Don't start. 
Rod, let's go find a clean room. Okay, listen. Dinner will be ready at 6. He'll have a quickie band meeting, and then we start our first rehearsal. So that gives us uh, about two hours, okay, to get settled in. And uh, by the way, I'm doing all the cooking. Great, just great. First of all, we have to take in our own baggage because you're too cheap to get us a roadie. And now we have to eat your cooking? Sticky baby, why, don't, why couldn't you become a Coke dealer or something sensible? Hey, Carl, Carl, come here. I just want you people to meet the man who made this all possible, okay? This is Carl. Come over here. Hey, Carl. Carl, Carl the yeah. character. Let's hear it. And he's just, hi, right, gang. Just, how are you? <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. I'm just going to go talk to Carl for a minute, okay? Paul, oh, listen, we really appreciate everything you've done for us, uh, but I need the keys for the house. Oh, yeah, I got the keys here. This, you know, I wanted to tell you, you know the barn over there? This this one. Yeah, yeah the big, big barn there. Yeah. You know, um, that recording company, uh, RCSA, -A, right? They came here mm -hmm. with uh, Alice Blooper. Cooper. Yeah. yeah the keys. And they I mean, built a, a recording studio up there, 24 track. Right for the keys, I'd like to have. Yeah, I have the keys here. Good. And, um, can I? Well, I want to tell you something, though. This, uh -huh. oh, you, you, this is not the first band that's been here. No, you know? really? No, no, no. We had Bob, Bob Stewart here. Bob. Did he have yeah. the keys? Own key? Did he have it? Eh? Hey? No, never mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, and also, in there's a room up there. Yeah. In that, in that house there. And there's a, a piano bed in there. So it's what? It's like a real piano? And it's, it's, a, or it's a bed shaped like a real piano. Oh, yeah. Right? And it has the keys and everything? No. No, it doesn't have any keys. No keys. Neither do I, Carl. I need the keys. Oh, what do you ask? Hmm. Sorry, I there you guess go. I wasn't thinking. Thanks for your help. Oh. And you'll see. So what do you think? Isn't this great? So Randy and I are in the master bedroom, and there's a smaller bedroom for Roger and Mary. What about Stiggy and I? Rod and I are actually married. Get a load of the child bride. There's a guest bedroom. You and Stig are in there. And we'll put Max in the office on the second floor, because we moved the cot in there. And Dee Dee will put you on the first floor because there's a fold up bed in the den. And I'm on the couch in the living room. Where else? Okay, you guys get settled in. I'm going to lock up the van. See you guys later. Guest room, how long are we going to be in this dump? Until uh, your boyfriend learns which hand plays which drum. <laughs> no sweat, sweet knees. Great.
Is that it for the burn? All but the last rites, mate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, you outdid yourself tonight, Phil. Yeah, I'd like to propose a toast to Roger and Mary, who started off Triton's biggest year yet by tying the knot. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. thank you. Stiggy has a toast. I do? Come on, you idiot. What do you have to be thankful for? Uh... Uh, um, I'd like to propose a toast to our uh, Phil, who came up with this wonderful dinner for us tonight. So how do you like your rooms? It's just wonderful, John. Really great. There's no place we'd rather spend our honeymoon than with the band. Thanks, guys. Mary, I feel like I'm welcoming you into my family. My room's fine. A little empty. But fine. Okay. It's time to see how much of our music we've all forgotten. Rod, Max, Stig, let's tune our weapons. Well, girls, it looks like we have the dish duty again. I'm afraid I don't do dishes. I'm not a housewife. Who is she? Look, only a bad cook doesn't clean up after dinner. Okay, girls, let's go cut some grease, huh? Ajax, boom, 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 boom. Let's rock and roll!
there, Wonder Wallabies. Hey, fault. hey, relax, guys. Stig will get you another one. Everybody, uh, take five. It's not my fault. You get me so excited when you're so forceful, lover. Ha! Hey, Phil! You got those extra drumsticks? Sure. I got a whole box in the basement. I know I'm dealing with Mad Max. Have no fear. Wonder Manager will save the day. Wonder Manager? Yeah. It's a wonder he's our manager. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs. Upstairs? Everyone up there only thinks about music. They're not like you. You appreciate the finer things in life. You know what appeals to a woman. I do. You know what makes a woman hot. You should go upstairs. Uh, Stig is going to be wondering what happened to you. Why? What's going to happen to me? When I couldn't. You don't really expect me to believe that, do you? He's not over by the stairs either. Where could he be? I don't know. Bill's irresponsible, but not this much so. We've had our excitement for the night. He's probably pulling our friggin' legs like the time that he booked us all into the same hotel room in Boston. <laughs> he probably didn't even come down here. Let's check upstairs. Well, they've got a point, honey. Let's go check upstairs. Well, it sounded like the screen came from down here. You're right. Let's go upstairs. It's not out at the bloody house. That's an understatement. We've been all over nothing. I even looked in the attic. Phil can't be in this barn. Well, I think we found him. The band's gone. Gone? Here we are, running around like a bunch of lunatics, and Phil's run off to town to get plastered. He stranded us, a loser. <sighs> well, that's the last we'll see of him till morning. Come on, let's call it a night. No mystery. Phil went into town. Yeah, why? The drumsticks. He probably forgot to pack them and went into town to get some. Come on in the house, big fella. You go on ahead, Randy. 
I'll be up in a minute. Don't be too long, honey. Your singing's brought out the beast in me. <laughs> John? You know, we are on sort of a vacation. Do you want me to feel romantic? What's that, huh? Sounds right, and you haven't heard a word I've said. What's on your mind? I don't know. Maybe it's Phil. It's not like him to run off like that. <laughs> not like the same Phil that got lost in the Vatican when we were in Italy and ended up in the bathroom of the Pope's private chamber. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He's probably lost somewhere in town. No. Oh. About what's on my mind. Is that him? <sighs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> As usual, by the best. Yeah, see, baby, dynamite. <sighs> Well, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go shake the monkey, eh? Drain the dragon. Yeah. We live, we live to rock. I'll be back. Thank <laughs> you. 
see, baby. What's wrong? I'm sure Phil's not dead or anything, or he would have called. It reminds me of the time we were partying with Nick and Bianca, and Phil spilled the vodka martinis all over the guy from RCA Areola. <laughs> Definitely a case of shaken, not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I've married an octopus. I'll finish those up, Randy. Well, shouldn't you be up? Okay, you hurry up, you two. Mm. We're gonna be ready to play in a minute. What? I thought you said you were gonna help me, not yourself. I'm sorry. Whenever I see you doing something so domestic, my boner can't help itself. Well, grab a towel from the cupboard and give me a hand drawing. You know, now that we're married, I'll hire someone to do this. Yeah, probably me. <laughs> Hey, Max, where's Rod? I think he's in the house. Want me to get him? No, I'll go get him. Uh, Rod's inside with Mary. Why don't you let him sit this one out, honey? Well, let's rock one for the newlyweds. Mo! And I yeah. takes me where I want to be. And you're where I want to be. Girl, you can't.
Dig. Great work, man. Yeah, see, I told you this vacation would do us some good, huh? Yeah, I feel like a changed man. <laughs> see, would you, uh, would you like to go for a walk with me? Hot playing lover boy, why don't you come and show me some of those new moves of yours? Sure, Luann. Let's take a walk in the woods. There's a little cozy lake I'd like to show you. Very private, I hope. Very. Well, why don't we go back to your office and take care of some long overdue business? <laughs> <laughs> See, I think. Did I ever tell you how much I respect you? I think we're on more than a half hour break, darling. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, it is the start of the trip. And they are studio ready, so hey, let them enjoy themselves. Roger and Mary and Max and Dee Dee and uh, Steak and Luann. Does Mr. Dee have any ideas, hon? Yeah. I gotta start working on that new love song. You don't know how crazy it made me seeing all those guys with the concerts falling all over you. Well, I remember a few thousand teenage girls who wanted a piece of you. Maxi boy, Maxi boy. Come on. Why did I have to wait so long? ran off. What's he doing in here? Maybe he lives near here. He's lost. Come on, let's go look for him. Uh, all right. Come on out. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to meet you. Get the hell out of this basement. <laughs>
Enough is enough already. I mean, we are supposed to try and get something accomplished up here. How are we supposed to rehearse our new album and tour when everybody's running off trying to scratch a seven-year itch? Honey, I'm getting worried, too. I think we would have heard something from someone by now. I don't know. Maybe Phil came back with a van when we were in the shower and took everybody else off into town. I mean, like, that's the only answer. I guess you're right. I mean, how else could the equipment have gotten put away? Can you do the dishes, honey? I'm going to go upstairs and get the things I was soaking out of the bathroom sink. Yeah, sure. Then I'm going to go to the bar and I'm looking at new love song. Well, you should have some added inspiration after that shower. Oh, mm. thank you.
Enough, John. What are you talking about, Randy? We have to stop pretending. The guys won't be coming back. They're dead. Dead? You're crazy. They're dead, and the van is gone, and we have no way out of here. Not true. Van's back. It's right out in front. Kathy. Look, Bill and everybody's around here somewhere. Don't worry for crying out loud. You haven't been listening to me. I told you they were dead. And so Nice effect, Randy. I like that look. I have hunted with you long enough. Prepare to die. Less familiar to call you Beelzebub, or you prefer a bad man, or as the Hindus called him Shaitan, or as you were known to answer to Araman, Belial, Apollyon, Asmodeus. You see, see, I do know you. The others, your band, your groupies. What of them? Never hear, Bub. Merely shadows I created to entertain your little friends. Juicy little souls to bring you out into the open. Just characters I drew from horror movies. Yes, that's where I saw that nerdy bass player before. Yes, and the one with the guy with the hockey mask. I've been here all alone. Can't you see that now? I knew if I pissed you off long enough, you'd make a personal appearance. I am the intercessor. Archangel. You overstepped your line again, Bob. 
It is the Creator's highest law that keeps you in your dark place. And yet you and your brethren still insist on coming into this world to try and steal a place in the world of the living. When will you ever learn? So, if you wish to do battle with me again, this is the last time you interfere with my plans. Today, you will be the loser.
place is yours. I will I'll see you again, old Scratch.